Friday came and, you know, everybody, when you were in the world, hey, Friday's come, it's time to get dressed up, it's time to party, because Fridays and Saturdays were the party day. But that Friday, I just, my, my heart, my, my spirit, my mind, it, it something just, from that morning, it was just something like, I just felt that I, I wasn't supposed to leave the house. Friends started banging in the door. Bom, 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 bom. Hey, what's up? You coming out or what? Something told me, don't respond to them. Don't answer the door. At the third time, when I was about to get up and try to respond and answer the door, a voice said, if you leave tonight, you're not coming back home. So, you know, what I did was I just laid in the couch. I said, okay, you know what? I'm, gonna go, I'm just going to lay here. And boom, I, I just fell asleep. When I fell asleep, not, not, I don't know how long I was asleep, but all I know and I remember is that when I closed my eyes, as soon as I closed my eyes, I opened my eyes. I can see myself laying in the couch. And my face was stuck in the ceiling. I was upside down. And next thing you know, I stopped moving in circles, slowly. But I'm going faster and faster and fast. And, I, and I'm, starting, I'm, I'm speeding up here. And the faster I'm going, I can hear these voices, real demons, like wicked voices just laughing at me. Next thing you know, I find myself in this dark place. Dark. Like this light just started shining. And it allowed me to see these things. And then in the sun, I see five demons five demons that are around me. And what I can see with these demons is that some of them have real big mouths, like rats. Some of them look like bats. And, and some of them were pretty much different deformed, kind of very scary. And their eyes were like a very wicked, evil, yellow, red, and green. I remember that. And all they were doing, they were laughing. They were like, <laughs> I can hear this clearly, like if it was yesterday. And then I look in front of me and I see this big black tunnel. And I can hear the tunnel going. And I'm floating on the air and I'm moving forward. As I'm going into this tunnel, I see a tiny little light at the end. So when I see that little light, I'm like, I'm, I'm safe. Oh, I'm gonna be all right. So when I got to the end of this tunnel, the light is gone. So now everything's quiet. I don't see anything, no one, and I'm standing there, and next thing you know, this fire just came out of nowhere, and it went straight up. And then, you know, in the mornings, you open your curtains in the mornings. Well, this is how the fire is split in half. When that fire opened up, a voice said, look in there. When I took a forward look, I, I, I move forward to look and see these people burning and burning and burning and then you can hear clack, 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 clack. but that's the flesh that's coming off of you and I can see maggots real big maggots just going through them and going through their brains and going through their heads going through their and through their eyes and going through their nose you can I can see all this thing happening and, they, and they're just screaming and screaming and screaming and then there was like there was like caves and there were like cells. Um, there was more trees that were just dead. The air there was, I mean, there's no air to breathe. I mean, there's, it's, it's suffocating in there. There was no water, there's no food, there's no sleep, there's no rest. This is day and night, day and night. Demons are there morning, swing ship, and graveyard. Day and night, they're torturing you. They're torturing you in every which way. They can tear you apart in pieces. They use swords or they just use their powers because that's how big they are. They can put their hands over your head and just squeeze it. They can tear your head off. They can tear your body. They'll cut you to pieces. And every piece in your body and everything, you're aware. And I was scared. I was crying. I was crying. I remember I kind of, I bowed my, I, 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 I kind of like a like little bubble and I was crying because I didn't know where I was at still. I had no idea what was going on.
And next thing you know, this big light comes, appears to me, a, a, a bright, bright light on my right hand side. And this light, as soon as the light hit me, this peace came over me. And I see this big, tall, beautiful angel, about seven, eight foot angel, big, real long, beautiful blonde hair. And he had to smile like he was so peaceful. It was such an amazing peace. I, you know, I, I, I knew it was an angel because I mean, you can't miss that. Um, and he had a big sword, and the sword of fire. And he spoke to me. He said, Mario. He said again, Mario. And I didn't want to move. I didn't want to look because I was already afraid. I don't know if these things were going to snag me back into that place. He said, it's okay, look. And this peace came over me. And I kind of got up and I looked at him. He goes, do you know where you're at? I said, no. I shook my head, no. He said, if today was your day, he said, this would be your portion. This where you would spend eternal life. This is hell. He says, you are in hell. He said, who is your God? I said, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't answer him, I just shook my head. I don't know. And then a little window opened up. And I remember Ronnie and Ron, Donnie and Ron, I, I, how can I forget them? Those are the ones that used to pick us up in the church bus, they used to come pick us up. They used to come up to me with their Bibles open and say, hey, Jesus loves you. When they said Jesus loves you, the window closed. And the angel asked me again, who's your God? I said, Jesus. He said, scream it. Scream it out loud, he said. I said, Jesus. And it just his name just echoed through these tunnels. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And then that's when I, I woke up. I remember waking up. And I remember those two brothers, those two brothers again, when they said, when I accepted Jesus when I was eight years old but I walked away. Coming to my heart, I, re I repent and I ask for your forgiveness. And I remember those and I got on my knees and I looked up to the heavens and I said, please forgive me, Lord. Forgive me of all of my sins. I repent. Coming to my heart, I said, and when I said coming to my heart, I, this like electricity buzzing noise from inside of my feet, it just came out and from that point on this peace came over me I couldn't stand drugs I couldn't stand um, alcohol I couldn't stand cigarette I couldn't stand anything I was delivered and I felt that day that night like I never did drugs I never smoked I never drank I felt like a brand new man. Two thousand four, when I was asleep at my home one day, and God sent an angel to my home and shot me up to the heavens. And that's where I knew my walk, the prophetic walk that I had with God, because when He came to me, when I seen the heavens, and I seen His. I seen the mountains and I seen the rivers and I seen the fruit and I seen the angels and I seen kids and I seen how beautiful it was up there and the love that's up there is an amazing love. But when this angel took me up to the heavens and I seen God's throne in the middle, in the center of the temple of God's people, angels blowing the trumpets, it's such it's, everybody think God's quiet. No, God's a loud God. He's praising wish worship everything every day and day day there's no dark there's no night up there there's no darkness just joy just love just peace this love was overwhelming that I, you know i thank god for allowing me to bring that he allowed me to bring some of the, that, that love back into the world i said and that's where i knew my walk was with god when he came to me i couldn't see him from his face but i seen him from his mouth down and his sandals and the holes in his hands and he spoke to me, he said, he said, my son, you have been sent by me. He says, I called you before placing in your mother's womb and out of your mother's womb I have called you. And I'm gonna move you into the nations and wherever I take your feet, 
you're going to deliver my word. He says, I called you and I showed you these things, heaven and hell, because I want you to let my people know that it's real. Worry not and fear not what people think about you. The rest is in the palm of my hands. All you need to do is let them know the truth about heaven and hell. And the rest is in my hands. He says, I have ordered me a prophet. And I will move you in a mighty powerful way. That you, your own eyes, will not believe how I will move you to the nations. He says, go, my son. Go. Rejoice in my name, he says. And go and let my people know that I'm coming. Let them know that I am at the gate and my angels are already preparing their horses and their carriages and sharpening their swords. Go. And I don't want to come back. God knows our thoughts before we think them. He says, your time is not yet with me, my son. But you will be with me soon. He says, go. And then with the palm of his hand, he touched my forehead. Boom. And I went, oh. And I came to my, back to my body at home. It was about 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. I remember I couldn't go back to sleep no more because the joy of God was over me. I was praising the Lord. I was crying. I was full in the spirit of God. And I couldn't wait to get to work to speak to all these Mormons because there was nothing but Mormons. They, they, they believe in different than what we believe. One God, one throne, one accord. We don't add, we don't take from the Word of God, but we believe in the fullness of the Bible from A to Z. But you know what? I praise God because that fire and that joy and that power of Him, I thank Him because He allowed me to move into that building where we worked at. And every Mormon that was there dedicated their life to the truth of repentance to God. And I got a hold of them not too long ago that now they're serving the true God in the right way that God needs to be served. God is good and God is real. So we just need to call on Him, be strong. Because no matter what you're going through, at the most, the most, at least that you feel alone, that's when God is with you more. He loves us. He's always with us. Thank you for watching Skywatch, and please don't forget to subscribe. See you on my next videos.